another one of our video blogs. Today we're talking about puppies and kittens and we're talking about exactly what they need which is vaccines and their spay and neuter. So let's tune in with Dr. Dobbin to see what she has to say. Hi, I'm Dr. Dobbin at Continental Animal Wellness Center and spring is in the air which basically means puppies and kittens everywhere. So I feel like this would be a good time to talk a little bit about spaying and neutering of our pets. Health benefits. So there are quite a few health benefits to early spaying and neutering. By early spaying and neutering, I mean at or around five months of age. Here's just a few examples. So if you spay an animal before their first heat, you, you virtually eliminate the risk of breast cancer. If you spay an animal at any age, you eliminate the risk of pyometra, which is infection of the uterus and often ends up as a surgical emergency. Early neutering of our pets can decrease prostate disease, as well as some testosterone-driven behavior, such as being bit by another animal and or hit by a car. Any animal, cat, dog, male, female, uh, there have been some studies that show sterilized animals <clears throat> actually live on average longer than their intact counterparts. So now let's shift gears to something else, overpopulation. Every 11 seconds in the United States, in a shelter, a cat or a dog is euthanized. That amounts to about 10,000 a day. Up to 50% of litters are accidental and or unwanted. So, in theory, by early spaying and neutering, you would prevent a lot of that euthanasia due to overpopulation. It should also be mentioned that gestation and parturition, aka pregnancy and delivery, has its own complications as well. Um, <clears throat> so now you've kind of heard the two main benefits that I feel strongly about. So the question is, when do I spay and neuter? And that is a very good question. And if you do a lot of research, do your homework, you will be very confused because there really is no perfect 100% of the time right answer to that question. For the two reasons I mentioned, as well as from a surgeon's perspective, um, early spaying and neutering equals smaller incision, less anesthesia time, therefore faster recovery. So health benefits, overpopulation, and surgery in and of itself is the reason that here at Continental we do recommend the early spay neuter, which once again is at or around five months of age. Ultimately, the decision is yours. I just encourage you to include your veterinarian in on your discussion. And if you've recently adopted any cute puppies or kittens, bring them on down to see us and check out our awesome puppy and kitten package. Many of us know that our puppies need vaccines, but what do they need? How many do they need? And what are they even being vaccinated for? Well, let's talk exactly about that. What vaccines do our puppies need? Well, first of all, let's start by setting up the very first appointment when our puppy is six to eight weeks of age. At that time, that's when they're gonna get the very first vaccine. That first vaccine is the DA2PP vaccine. What that vaccine is, is actually a lot of vaccines all in one. And it stands for the distemper, vi distemper virus, the adenovirus, parainfluenza virus, and the parvovirus. Oh, and actually, distemper parvo is pretty common in Flagstaff. So that's why it's so important to get those two on board first, so your pet has at least some protection and some immunity against distemper and parvo right off the bat. So that's why, once again, at six to eight weeks, we're gonna come in and get that first vaccine. After that, every three to four weeks, we're gonna come in for another booster of that vaccine until about four months of age, then we're gonna get our final one-year vaccines. And that's gonna be the final distemper parvo combo vaccine and then our final one-year rabies vaccine. Now, when they come in a year later for the next vaccine after that, then we can get three-year vaccines. But as puppies, we still don't have that full immunity yet. We're still growing, and so that's why we want a booster vaccine so that we can get that full immunity and they can be fully protect protected. So one misconception that a lot of people have is they're gonna get all these puppy vaccines and then they have that one year vaccine, they're gonna come back in and they're gonna get a three year vaccine and then they're done. Their puppy's vaccinated and good for life. Well, actually, no. So 
over time that immunity actually decreases and your dog needs to be revaccinated. So we recommend after all these puppy vaccines, your dog's gonna need to come back in every three years for the rest of its lifetime to keep up this immunity. So that's why it's so important that not only are we bringing in your puppy, but also your older dogs as well to make sure that we're always keeping up with our vaccines. So we're always protected against these viruses. Now on top of these two vaccines, there's one more vaccine that I wanted to mention that's really important to vaccinate for as well. And that's gonna be the Bordetella vaccine. Bordetella is a component of kennel cough. Kennel cough is a terrible cough or hack that your pet can get. And just like a common cold for us, that can be passed um, by touching noses, when dogs are sniffing each other, or by sharing dog bowls or things like that. So any dog that's going into boarding, grooming, or dog parks, or even just hanging out downtown or going into your local PetSmart or Petco, they can uh, pick up kennel cough there. So we also recommend uh, vaccinating for Bordetella. And that one is vaccinated once a year or if you're going into kenneling uh, every six months. So those are our three main vaccines that we vaccinate for here in Flagstaff. That's the kennel cough, which is Bordetella, that distemper parvo, and rabies. So this is Milk and Cookies, and they are puppies from Tuba City Humane Society. They're in here today for their spay and neuter. And as we all know, puppies can be a lot of fun. Um, but as we just talked about as well, they need a lot of care <laughs> and can be hard work. They need the proper vaccines and their spay and neuter, which can be a lot of work and also very um, costly. So it's great when we can rescue puppies, um, and especially from a rescue like Tupa City Humane, who does get them the proper care <laughs> um, and get them all the things that they do need. You guys are so cute, I know, and so excited. Um, so it's great to get them all those things that they do need. And so we just wanted to feature these two today. They actually are up for adoption from Tupa City Humane. Um, so this one is milk. And this is cookies uh, and if you guys want to check them out you can we'll post them on our Facebook as well and look up Tuba City Humane. We hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about what your puppy or kitten may need. As always if you have any further questions just come on in or feel free to give us a call. Thanks for tuning in with us here at Continental Animal Wellness Center. Mm -hmm.